Welcome to BSc Statistics students. In this class, I explain processing of N jobs through three missions. So we have discussed two missions, now three missions. So here, uh, what you have to consider three particular missions, uh, for example, A, B, C, which are to be uh, uh, considered in the order A, B, C. For example, in the order A, B, C, the order may change you can consider and uh, this is the procedure is going to be explained through order A, B, C. Suppose that uh, there are N jobs, for example, you consider N jobs 1, 2, 3 and so on N. N jobs and each job is processed through the missions A, B, C in the order A, B, C. First from, uh, for, for example, you have considered one particular job. It is to be processed uh, through the mission A first, mission B second and mission C later third one. So, this is the order, passing is not allowed, okay, right. So, that is each job first go to mission A and then go to mission B and then go to mission C in, this, in that particular order, okay. The processing times are uh, uh, considered in this particular uh, way, that is jobs are considered here 1, 2, 3 and so on and the three missions A, B, C for example, first, second and third missions, the processing times of uh, first mission A uh, on n jobs are going to be considered t11, t21, t31 and so on, tn1. Second letter j is equal to 1, first letter i is equal to 1, 2 and so on, n. Second letter j is equal to 1 indicates uh, uh, first mission. First letter i, i indicates 1, 2 and so on, n, n jobs. And similarly, mission b, the processing times on second mission uh, going to be considered as t12, t22 and so on, t, uh, t32 and so on, tn2. And uh, uh, third mission, uh, mission C, is are going to be considered processing times are uh, T13, T23, T33 and so on, TN3. Clear? Is it clear? Now, this is the consideration of the processing times uh, of three missions. Now, what you have to consider in the uh, step one, the Johnson's uh, procedures, procedure algorithm to obtain optimum sequence. It is going to be explained in the uh, algorithm. That is step one. Consider you consider the step one, uh, in which you have to consider you have to calculate uh, minimum of T i one that is first mission, minimum of T i three that is the third mission, and the first and last missions you have to calculate minimum processing times. In the in which the uh, uh, among the processing times you have to calculate minimum for first mission for third mission. And then you have to calculate maximum for the second mission, maximum of TI2, minimum of TI1, minimum of TI3 and maximum of TI2, okay. For all the jobs consider i is equal to 1, 2 and so on, n. And next second st step 2, check whether the two conditions, condition number 1, minimum of TI1, whether it is greater than or equal to maximum of TI2, that is the first one. Second condition, minimum of TI3 is greater than or equal to maximum of TI2. The, these two partic particular conditions you have to check it. That is, uh, whatever we have calculated for first and third mission minimum times, which are greater than or equal to the maximum time that is uh, of second mission T i two maximum of T i two. If either now, if you go to the next step after checking after calculating this after checking this, you have to go for step three. In the uh, in equations, that means uh, the conditions here one and two either one or two or both are not satisfied that is one and two both one and two are not satisfied then uh, uh, the method fails both uh, are sat not satisfied then the methods method fails we cannot do by using this particular procedure right if anyone otherwise go to next step that is in the step four in the step four what we have to do the step four convert three mission problem into two mission problem that is uh, if either one or two or both are satisfied otherwise means either one first condition or two or second condition or both are satisfied first condition if first condition is satisfied okay if second condition is satisfied okay if both are satisfied okay if both are not satisfied method fails Anyone satisfied, then we can go to the next step. That is, uh, next we have to convert the three mission problem into two mission problem. Next we have to convert the two mission problem, three mission problem into two mission problem. How to convert this? Uh, 
by introducing the two dummy missions G and H. Two dummy missions you have to consider G and H uh, with the processing times uh, Tiz. For example, uh, that is uh, for dummy mission G, the processing time is to be calculated by Tiz is equal to Ti1 plus Ti2. That is processing times of first and second missions you have to add and you have to create a jump dummy mission G. You have to create one particular mission G. And uh, similarly, uh, the processing times of uh, the mission H are going to be considered TIH is equal to TI2 plus TI3. That is the second and third mission processing times are to be added and uh, um, another mission H is dummy mission and the dummy mission H is going to be created. So, like this uh, with the processing these the pro with the with these processing times you have to consider you have to create two dummy missions G and H. Now, the problem is converted into three mission problem to two missions. Okay, now as usual Janssen's algorithm in step 5 determine the optimum sequence of jobs on the missions G and H by using Johnson's optimum sequence algorithm of n jobs and two missions. So, as already we have learned n jobs and two mission problem and you have to do apply the procedure of Johnson algorithm um, to and uh, we have to obtain uh, optimum sequence of uh, the jobs on two particular missions G and H. So, that uh, we, we will get the optimum sequence first and then remaining procedure is going to be considered with the uh, remaining problem that is uh, the resulting problem and uh, now you have to consider uh, you have to calculate the time periods for mission A, mission B, mission C as uh, which was specified in the original problem. Okay, You have to consider the original problem and we have to do the now by taking the optimum sequence and we have to apply for all missions A, B, C in the order A, B, C that is first A and second B and third C like uh, in that particular order in the sequence you have to calculate uh, uh, the time times of the uh, missions that is uh, uh, starting time and finishing time that is time in and time out uh, and then you have to calculate total elapsed time and then you have to calculate uh, ideal time for mission A, mission B, and mission C by usual uh, by using as usual procedure of Johnson algorithm for two missions. So the same particular procedure is going to be continued uh, to obtain three mission problem. Hope you understand. This is what the procedure of uh, processing of n jumps through three missions. Thank you. Thank you very much.